YouTube show. Growing your own chives and scallions mm -hmm. and using them, mm -hmm. they're mm -hmm. so abundant. It's so yeah. easy to just grab a couple, you know, st stems or not stems, but like grab a couple, dice them up. That was a big thing when Billy and I started growing plants successfully is putting chives in our scrambled eggs every day. And yeah. like literally that act of just snipping and putting in. So can we talk about alliums a little bit? Sure. I think that's a great idea. I love that. It's also very tactile. You get yes. you get not just the flavor of it, but you also get the feeling of the onion. You get the, the scent of the onion. And of course you're seeing it as you mm -hmm. cut it. We often use scissors for that. Just um, yeah. uh, easy, any kind of scissors. I'd use the ones in my Swiss army knife because that's usually what I have. I remember doing that too when I was first getting more interested in cooking um, as a way of, of reminding myself that I could be connected. I think that's a great gateway as well. Alliums generally, as you know, are everything from shallots and chives and garlic chives to um, leeks uh, and white red and um, and yellow onions. Um, I especially like torpedo onions, which look like torpedoes and are really terrific to grill um, and are, are red as well. Um, uh, you know, there are in classes and classes of vegetables to grow there that are really good for you in the culinary medicine kitchen mm -hmm. pantry. There is the cruciferous vegetables, some of which we've already begun to talk about, kohlrabi's one. And then there are the alliums. If you have mm -hmm. to pick two big classes, that's it. Wow. Okay. And, and um, which, you know, leaves you wanting about tomatoes since that's everybody's favorite thing to grow. But still from a culinary medicine standpoint, those are the most powerful ones leaving aside herbs and spices. And as you know, herbs are leaves and spices are everything else on the plant. Mm -hmm. Spice, spice is a seed, a root, a flower, a bud, um, herbs are leaves. So alliums um, are, are terrific for uh, sources of uh, quercetin, which is a really powerful anti-inflammatory that was actually tested in supplements against COVID-19 early in its course and found to be um, to delay its growth, um, but wasn't used as part of the armamentarium because people were um, concentrating on, on uh, hospital-based therapies. Mm. Um, but it has some activity against viruses and has, um, and yet the, the very best way to eat onions is, and many plants, although not all, is raw or lightly cooked. And okay. there are some things that get better if you cook them, like there's more fiber in a cooked carrot than there is in a plain carrot um, because it's just more easily accessible. Um, there's more vitamin C in cooked corn if it's steamed than in, um, in fresh corn. Uh, it, began, it becomes accessible. Um, but... Uh, most things are best raw or lightly cooked. It doesn't mean you can't cook them for six hours if you're stewing beef hocks or something and you have four pounds of onions at the bottom of a pan. It makes a luscious caramelized sauce and you should do it. But you also might consider uh, adding a little bit of, um, uh, of the raw vegetable on top, uh, maybe mm. both as a garnish and to remind yourself of its connection. And this and is actually a essential. texture too. Exactly. Having a nice crunch. Texture is the missing component in great food 80% of the time. Yeah, totally. Totally. It's funny though. I totally cook like onions. I totally cook and on, overcook onions all the time. I just put them at the base of like anything I cook and it's, they're always yeah. the first thing in the pan. So um, what are your favorite ways to eat onions raw or lightly cooked? I like a yeah. charred onion on a grill. I like a charred onion and grill, not raw, really, but lightly cooked. <laughs> lightly cooked. <laughs> not I like raw. a charred onion and grill. I actually char the uh, garlic scapes and the onion Ooh. flowers. Ooh. So onions, as you know, onions bolt mm -hmm. if they are stressed. Um, and about a quarter of mine bolted this year because they got irregular water. And um, and onion flowers don't taste quite as good as garlic scapes. But the, the flower, the terminal part of the flower does, just not the base part of the flower, which is thick and hollow and not very appealing. But the, um, so I like them just like whole scallions uh, on a grill 
the same way, charred. Um, and they're called cebollitas in Spanish. And we used to serve them at Tobobamba when I worked there uh, as a garnish, but they're so good that we make them here anyway. All you do is slick the whole green onion in olive oil, put it in a grill, char it, flip it, char it again, you're done. Or do it to the, with the garlic scape that's 12 inches long. Um, slick it, char it, flip it, char it, you're done. Um, and eat it as a garnish, a side uh, tacos or a sandwich or uh, uh, a bowl of anything. Um, that sounds amazing. Okay, what? What's? Give me a real raw recipe, <laughs> since you called. Oh, since yeah. you since you called me now out for get, the fact yeah. that grilling it is not raw. That's <laughs> yeah, true, isn't it? Um, you know what I do is slice uh, leeks super thin, um, and shallots super thin, because you can really only eat them raw if they are super thin. Totally. Because it's the flavors are too sharp. Mm -hmm. You just asked me for the, you know, the best medical way to do it. And that is the best medical way. But to make that palatable, mm -hmm. wherever they appear, they have to be in super thin form or else you're not going to eat them. Mm -hmm. I actually like them in salads, but then your partner has to remember you're having dinner with or going to kiss later, needs to have them too. Mm -hmm. and, um, uh, and, and it's really kind of stops there. Um, one of my favorite ways to, to use onions is to... Um, when I do use them raw is to rinse them in apple cider vinegar. So um, if I'm adding them to a guacamole or to any other dish in which they're going to appear crunchy and fresh, you put them in the base of a strainer. You put the strainer in a little stainless steel bowl. You add the chopped or sliced onion to the strainer. You add a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. You take your fingers and mix around the, um, the chopped or sliced onion. You wait 10 or 15 seconds, you empty out the vinegar and then you rinse it with water and all the heat of the onion will have gone away. Really? I've really? never heard of that before. That's cool. I'm going to try cool. that. Yeah. It, it's a it, chef's it, trick. Oh, I love that. It kind of reminds me, but I don't know if this counts as raw, like those delicious marinated onions that like, you know, you marinate them in like vinegar and oil and like all yeah, sorts they're of spices. Delicious. Yeah. Does yeah. the vinegar do something to make it not as um, nutritious or does that count as a raw onion? Let's count it. I let's think we count, should count it. it. We should those count are it. delicious on like a burger. Or yeah. Let's really count those. anything. Yeah. Okay. Right. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah. So that's Allium. So those are some, yeah. those are some do, great do, onion do, ideas. Do, 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 Doom, 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 doom,